Greetings everyone. This video may be helpful for creating the movie mockup in Photoshop. I considered the option to make one long video, but because of time, I might do it in smaller chunks. Michael White's React course requires creating both a mobile and a desktop version of the movie database. A mobile version must have a minimum of 320 pixels wide, while the desktop version should have a minimum of 1920 pixels wide. Several links to the student's portfolio page and movie database are listed in the description. Let's get started. Let's take a look at Jenny's movie database. Here is her Photoshop file for the mobile and desktop versions. Photoshop will demonstrate Jenny's skills as a graphic designer. The main page of this website shows 12 movies with a fold and scroll section below the fold. Hover effects and searching aspects are written in the layers to simplify my life when marking and to go through the user experience. In the mobile version, you must display one to two movies per page for the mobile version. The cutoff poster on Jenny's mobile lets you know that there is more pretending to see below that one has to scroll down to see. I'm cool with that. Her website has been redesigned slightly. Nothing is set in stone, but the idea of a mock-up resembles the final product closely. In some cases, I tweak the user experience when coding the site because it makes more sense. Now let's look at Michaela's movie database. Here are her Photoshop files for mobile and desktop. The Photoshop files for Michaela were slightly modified as they were for Jenny. If I recall correctly, Michaela was not a designer, but she was interested in it. Seeing this, I would have thought she was a designer in her past life. The first thing you'll notice is a hero image across the top of the page. You have to scroll down to see the 12 movies. When it comes time for market and going through the user experience, I can use the layers to hide or turn on the layers for hover effects, drop down menus, and see certain aspects written into them. Depending on how you configure the file, you might need to make some changes. I like how the movie poster summary appears when you hover over it. When I click on more info, I get the movie summary. It is a movie that I have added to my favorites. You can view that movie poster on the favorite page. You might not have any favorite movies because I know there are none worth seeing. If so, then you can have this line of text, no favorite movies. Sky. She was way ahead of doing the work. After mentioning the project in class 3, she began to come up with the ideas. My explanation of what was I looking for was complete when class 4 hit on a Friday. She showed me a mock-up for one of her desktop pages on Saturn and asked for my input. It was her initiative to produce all three versions, mobile, tablet, and desktop. Even though it isn't mandatory, she got bonus marks only because the tablet was done correctly. A mistake on the tablet would have resulted in no bonus marks for her. You can see how things are slightly different for the first two students who created their movie mockups. A movie summary for each movie is included on the home page for Sky. I do not know which movie to hover over in the Photoshop file. Sky probably thought about that as well. I don't mind. Either way, you can add one movie poster of information or for all of them. However, you do have to use the actual text from the movie. Sky made it easy by saying what to click in the layers for the hover effect. Each poster on all three sites is high quality and not distorted. Color coding is used to identify and organize layers so they can be appropriately named. As a result of their Photoshop files, these students did receive a high score. Results will come if you invest the time to do a good job. In some cases, they spent between 20 and 40 hours working on the final mockup. If you spend 30 minutes to an hour on it, the final marks will probably reflect that. So please, don't put it off to the last minute. My objective with this video is to show past students' Photoshop files and how they turned out. You will work in pairs or threes in Michael White's class unless you ask and request to work alone as a solo project. What are the pros and cons? Having this as a portfolio piece that you did all by yourself is one of the perks of working alone. On the other hand, teamwork does demonstrate that you can also work well in a team. 
As a result, you have less work to do. It is a tough decision here. As always, please feel free to leave any comments or questions below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get the next hot tip. I will see you next time.